Five starts now. Child care providers are sounding the alarm warning that parents could lose the end of a pandemic era program and it might put their daycare at risk. As nearly 5,000 daycares benefited from the Child Care Counts program. And as Julia Fellow reports, those in the industry say ending it could cause child care centers to close. Look, Off to the shadow. top. There is a shadow. Oh my goodness. There was a shadow. It's very high demanding. It's okay. And very challenging. But the biggest challenge of all for Kitty Academy of Brookfield owner Subra Gupta is finding staff. And to keep the staff, and to keep motivating them. According to the Wisconsin Early Childhood Association, the average pay for a daycare worker in our state is $10.66 an hour. Gupta tells me thanks to the Child Care Counts program, staff start at $14 to even $20 an hour. She's able to give bonuses and provide continuing education programming. So let's say we used to get like uh, 20000 a month. On top of that, if you say, okay, you don't get anything starting February, that's like zero per month. About 4,900 daycares across our state have received about $600 million from this program to help struggling daycare providers make ends meet and encourage parents returning to the workforce. The governor proposed making the program permanent in the budget, asking for $340 million. Democratic Senator Kelda Royce spoke for it during last week's Joint Finance Committee meeting. We've already lost more than half of our child care businesses in the last 15 years. That's stunning from 2007 to now, so a little more than 15 years. But that's likely coming to an end in February as it was voted down in the committee Friday. It's very disappointing. We plan to open a few more schools in Wisconsin and we'll have to reevaluate everything right now given it's not going to happen anymore if that continues to be Does the case. Does that include expanding? expanding to. The Wisconsin Child Care Administrators Association sent out an email blast on Monday calling on all providers to host a strike or walkout on Tuesday when legislators are back in session and they plan to pass the budget on that day. They say this is their last course of action. Reporting Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News.